Hello guys and welcome back. Today we had the start of the Champions League. We take on Fenerbahce at home. Uh, I'm just going to team talk here. I'm playing pretty much the same formation. I've gone with a 4-4-2 this time instead of a 4-4-2-2-2. A 4 2 2 2 2 2 2 Too many twos. But uh, I've made a few changes because obviously the t squad's a bit unfit. I mean, Dibital Berbatov just keeps his position. Hernandez comes in. Ashley Young makes a return. Parchi still makes his first start of the season. Fabio and Raphael come in, Chris Smalling. I'm just brought in because obviously looking at some of the fitness is really not that great. Uh for the fans, yeah, I'm gonna go with that against Fenerbahce. I'll quickly turn the sound down a bit. It's a bit loud in my ears. Okay. So start of the match, we seem to be we seem to be dominating a bit in possession here. Nothing major seems to be going on. Ashley Young here with and Chris Smalling with a shot. <sighs> Don't see that a lot, Jesus. But yeah, guys, see what we can do here from this corner. See what we can do from the corner. Ashley Young with a strange corner in. Raphael managed to get it back, though. Well played from him. And Darren Fletcher with a shot there, which is well saved by their keeper. Looking at the Fenerbahce squad, you really do see they have got quite a few danger men. I mean, Alex, the guy on the ball now, he is a massive threat to us. They've got a good striker in Mohamedou Diang. M M Niang? Yeah, Mahamanuni. Oh my god. I'm not great at pronouncing names, guys. I've had. You probably noticed by now. I apologise if I do sound like a bit of an idiot when I speak, but that's just me, I'm afraid. So, yeah, they do have Mahamadou Niang, I think his name is. And he is a major threat to our goal. But I've set out the team tactics, so they keep him under track. They keep him. They keep him at bay, pretty much, is what I've tried to go for here. And obviously I've gone for the more attacking front line of Hernandez and Chicharito. Hernandez is Chicharito. Hernandez and Berbatov. God, guys, you can tell I've just got up, can't you? And Alex is injured here 30 minutes in, which is a massive loss for Fenerbahce. He is probably their best player. That is a massive, massive loss. I do feel quite sorry for him now, to be honest. Because that is really hard to lose their best player. And the inclusion of Park Ji Sung was mostly based on the fact that Nani is unfit, Giggs is unfit, Vincente is unfit, and Park Ji Sung hasn't been sold yet. And I do need to sell the lad because, no offence to him, I mean, he plays well in real life, he does. He gives some really solid performances, Manu, I think we've all seen him do it, but on here he's just not what I'm looking for, really, in a wide midfielder of his calibre at Man United, because obviously Man United are a world-class team. And we've got to be looking to sign the best players. Because otherwise, you know, we're not going to really keep up with the likes of Barcelona and Inter Milan and all of these other incredible teams, which are really our main competition. Oh, and Real Ferdinand here. He's committed a foul. <sighs> Thank God, though, it is not a red card. That really would have cost us a lot there from Rio. He's got to be careful now. But it doesn't look like much has happened in this, uh, in this half, so... I'm going to switch around the tactics a little bit and I will come back to you guys when I have done so. Okay guys, we are back and immediately an immediate impact with the start of the game Ashley Young's corner here and Johnny Evans, the sub who's come on for Fabio I mean for Raphael, which has put us in the lead is 1-0 to United but for, uh, 47 minutes into the game we've got the breakthrough and that is a magnificent start to the second half. I have changed the tactics around a bit now. I have decided to go a lot more attacking. And I put Ashley Young as the inside forward position, so he he'll do which I'm pretty proud I'm pretty happy with to be honest. I've changed it around, I've gone back to the four two 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 because I felt we needed a bit more of an attacking edge. And you know, it seems to be working out so far, we seem to be dominating the possession a lot more, and Hernandez probably should have scored there, but it wasn't his weaker foot, so you can't blame him. Uh, we are, we are, we do seem to be running past our men to be getting past, and I think, I think Fenerbahce are going to have a red card here. Looks like it's going to be down to 10 men for Fenerbahce, and I think, yes it is, it's down for 10 men for Fenerbahce. Andre Santos, the left back, has been sent off here for a second yellow card, and that is a shocking display from him. He has really let his team down here. That is a disgusting and awful decision, really. Losing 1-0 and now down to 10. 
I am really tempted to bring on Nanny right now. If I wasn't looking forward to the N Everton game, I'd be really tempted to bring on Nanny because with no left back, Nanny can do tons of damage. Absolutely tons. And I'm just going to make a few substitutions here, guys, and we will be back in just a second. Okay, guys, and we are back. And I've just brought Michael Owen on for Berbatov, and Hernandez has gone through here, and Hernandez has chipped the keeper. 2-0 to United. That is a great finish from Hernandez. Slotted it over the keeper. Beautifully worked goal. It was route one, really. They kicked it up. I think Johnny Evans with the big header back in. And Hernandez with a wonderful chip over the keeper. It's delightful, really. Delightful stuff from the lads. And that makes it makes it a lovely 2-0 scoreline. And they, they may have a chance it. Fenner... I think Chris Small has given away a foul here. He has. And Fenerbahce have a penalty. And a possible way back into the match here. Mohamed Niang. Fouled by Chris Smalling. Chris Smalling's only got a yellow. Could have gone off for a red there. That was that was very nerve-wracking situation here. Mohamed Uniang currently stepping up for the penalty. I don't know if De Gea can save this. I didn't expect him to. And, of course, Niang has scored. And that has put Fenerbahce 2-1, which has given them a hope here in this match of getting a draw. And I've just taken off Berbatov and, oh, God. We now have two poachers up front. So we're going to rely quite a lot on the midfield here to see if we can get anything else. I don't know if we're going to have another highlight here. We are, and it is for Fenerbahce. And Fenerbahce almost with the through ball there, getting it through to Niang. It was very close, but luckily they couldn't quite pull it off. And, oh, Jesus. Ashley Young there with a through ball for Hernandez. Very close to putting him in there. That was a great vision from Ashley Young. And the lads are working really hard here to win the ball back. Putting a lot of effort in. But I think that's going to be the end of the match here with 2-1. I think it is. No, we have another highlight here. And, and Ferdinand's just hit the bar from a header. And anything else going to happen? Here? No, and the game is, game is over. Game is finished. We beat Fenerbahce 2-1. It's a good performance from the lads. Oh, Jesus Christ, Chris Smalling's on very poor morale since he gave away the penalty, but it was it was a good performance from the lads. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I know it's a little bit shorter than the other episodes, but please remember, rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell me any constructive criticisms you may have for the series. Uh, I'd just like to say thanks for watching this far, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. See you later.